Let's look at every private server command in Emergency Hamburg. You may not know what all the commands are, so in this video I'll sum them all up for you. But just before we start, please consider subscribing to the channel for more informative videos like this. But let's get started. Alright, so the first command we're going to look at is actually going to be watch. Basically, this command allows you to view other players no matter where they are in the game. You can just put your camera on them. So I've actually got my alt account in here. Uh, it's just on my phone and I'm going to show you exactly how that works. So all I'm doing is typing exclamation mark watch space and then the username of the of the person I'd like to watch so display names do not work you have to put their original Roblox username otherwise the command won't work so just make sure you use their actual username and not their display name and you don't have to write their name in full you can just use the first couple letters and then it will automatically know who you're talking about so when I press enter you can see my camera's just been set onto this user rather than mine so I can still walk around but my camera is on this account so you can see if I move around on the other account I'm watching them and everything they do so this is a good way to view people at a glance without having to go to them and you might be wondering how to actually turn this off well, all you have to do is type in watch and then your username and then it will go back to you all right so the next command is actually going to be name tag so as you can see the name that's shown above the character's head you can actually modify that to whatever you'd like so for example here i'm going to type in name tag the username and then what i'd like to call them so let's just say abc then when i press enter you can see it's just been modified to say abc so this is really useful for role play. Anyway, let's move on to the next command, which is actually going to be two. So what this allows you to do is just teleport yourself to someone else. So for example, I can just type in two, a space, the account name, and boom, I'm going to get teleported to them. Now the next command is a bit similar. It's actually two car. So you get the idea. So I just type in two car and nothing else. I'm going to get teleported to my vehicle. Now let's say I want to teleport to someone else's car. I can just do the exact same thing, two car, and then say they use names. So I'm going to say my account name. It's going to teleport me straight to their car instead. Anyway, the next command is actually going to be bring. So this allows you to just bring someone to you. So really the reverse of two. So I'm just going to type in bring, then my account name, and then there you go. It just brought them to me. All right, now the next command is going to be message. And this allows you to just message someone privately in case you need to notify them of something. So I'll give you an example of what that looks like. So just so you can see the message, I'm going to message my main account from my alt account. So when I press enter, you can see in the bottom right, I just got a message from my account and it's says hello and you can see the command I've sent right here you can use that to direct message any person in the server all right the next command is actually going to be to do with the time and it's called time set so I can just type in time set and this is going to range from 0 to 24 hours so 24 would be midnight and 0 would also be midnight 12 would be midday and 6 would be 6 a.m. you know I think you get the point so if I just do time set 12 for midday as you can see it's now just changed to midday so it's basically just a 24 hour clock so yeah just remember 0 to 24 all right the next command is going to allow you to spawn in the administrator vehicle. All I have to type in is spawn admin car. And then as you can see, it's just going to spawn in right next to me. It's going to spawn in the admin car. And then I can get in and drive that around. All right, now moving on to the administration commands. So firstly, let's talk about mod and unmod. So this one can only be executed by the owner of the VIP server. So if you're not the owner and you're just a moderator, then you can't execute this command. If I want to make someone an admin, I just type in mod space and then their username. There is no indicator of it's actually worked. You kind of just have to run commands on the account you've modded to see if it's worked, but that's all you need to do for that. And then to remove that admin, you just have to type in unmod, then the username, and then that will unmod them. All right, the next command's actually going to be kick. So I think it's quite self-explanatory. This allows you to just kick someone from the game, not ban them, so they can still join back. And I'll show you how to ban in just a second. So to kick, I just do kick, a space, and then their username. And then as you can see, the account will be disconnected. And then if you do want to add a reason for the kick, then after the username, just add a space and then then you can type in the reason just say like not following rules as I get my account to join back let me tell you about the next command which is temp ban so let's say I want to ban someone but I don't want it to last forever and I want that ban to be removed after a set period of time and all I have to type in is temp ban the username and then how long I want them to be banned for so to set the duration you just have to say the number in days so if you say temp ban then the username then one then that will ban them for exactly 24 hours now let's say I want to remove that ban because it was an accident or I just want them back in the game then I can type unban and then the user ID of the player so the user ID is not their username it's a it's a specific code that is tied to their Roblox account so in order to obtain that you have to head over to their Roblox account profile and then in the URL you'll see a little you'll see a code up here you just want to copy that then come back to the game and just unban and then 
paste that in and now I can get myself joined back into the game and there we go here we are successfully unbanned now let's say I want them gone forever and they can never ever join back all I have to do for that is type in perm ban and then their username and then it will permanently ban them forever until you decide to unban them but they will not be unbanned automatically unlike temp ban but anyway moving on to the next command it's going to be ban info so if I do exclamation mark ban info then you have to put their user ID again it can't be their username so you can get that the same way I just mentioned and then I press enter it shows a little notification down here that says player with ID this 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 is not banned on this private server so let's say they were banned and I kept my account banned it would say they are banned all right now the final command on the list is shut down so all this command does is it just shuts down the server it kicks everyone out so if you want to reset the server that's how you do it and all you have to do is type exclamation mark shut down then just press enter and as you can see server has been shut down by me so yeah everyone gets kicked out anyway that is all the commands in emergency hamburg private servers hopefully you did find that useful and i've helped you out remember to subscribe for more info like this and good stuff on emergency hamburg give the video a like if you found it helpful and goodbye